The headline from earlier in the week was uh, that the Fed chair found the supply chain issues and sticky inflation, quote, frustrating. And I wonder if you think that means that his, his transitory view is looking a little bit wobbly. Well, I think the transition is maybe a little longer than he originally expected it to be. I think um, many of the Fed were thinking this is uh, sort of a three to six month thing, but it looks much more like a six month to nine month or even a year sort of thing because many of these, I mean, in some sense, it's because the economy has done so well and that demand is up so much in so many sectors that you're now getting these uh, these crunches in particular sectors. So in certain ways, it's welcome, but obviously that can lead to um, uh, elevated prices, at least in some sectors for, for a while. Right. So if you, if you argue, and I'm sure you've heard this a lot, the idea that the economy is seeing slowing growth, sticky inflation, creeping its way down to the consumer, uh, to some that equals stagflationary pressure. How do you push back on that, or do you? Well, I think we're still growing so fast, but not quite as fast as before, that it's it's hard to say that's exactly stag stagflation. Um, I mean, we typically think of our long-run growth being kind of the 2 to 3% area, and we've been growing uh, significantly above that, mainly as a bounce back from the uh, the economy being locked down for, for so long. Um, inflation certainly is high right now. Some of that is, I think, transitory, just a, kind of a bounce back from uh, where things uh, where things were before. But this is the key challenge that the Fed faces. Um, they want to provide the support for ongoing economic growth, but they need to take the punch bowl away just at the right time so inflation doesn't get too hot and lead to inflation expectations that uh, are persistent. And that's the challenge. Um, I'm glad they're they're moving now to uh, to. to uh, take the punch bowl away a little bit because I think otherwise um, inflation expectations could have um, and still have the potential to, uh, to to really move up. They're moving up a little bit, but I think that's natural. Yeah, I mean, certainly it's a tightrope walk that we're seeing play out right now in terms of policy and, and the timing around it. I'm just curious, though, what to you would potentially signal stagflation? Is there certain data that you watch very carefully to make sure that that's not actually taking root? Well, I think we saw a very significant slowdown in economic growth uh, and a slowdown in um, and the robustness of the labor market. I know that you know one of the recent labor market reports was not as many jobs were created as people had hoped, but I think that's because there's um, people are being very picky about taking jobs. It's not you know there are record numbers of job openings available. People are quitting in, in record numbers, and they only do that when they're very confident about the, the labor market. So, so I think we'd have to see a very significant slowdown in job openings. Uh, I think we'd have to see a very significant slowdown in economic growth. You would think that we're in a stagflation uh, spot.